Hey folks, so today we're going to talk about my famous freezer bag meals. Now, you could go out and spend really good money on a spicy Southwest style skillet from Mountain House and Adventure Meal, or the chicken fried rice version, which you just add a couple of cups of water to, rehydrate, these are uh, freeze dried or dehydrated meals. Those are good, those are great, but they're like eight, 10, 12 bucks a piece. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to use your own freezer bags and make your own. So first, what you're gonna need is some kind of protein. Now I've got for a buck these great value premium chicken packets. There's um, Applewood Smoke, there's Original or Regular, or for less than a buck, you can get chicken breast in a can. A little bit heavier, but it's a full five ounces of uh, really good quality chicken meat there that you can have. You can take that and some spices, some seasoning. Here is a Southwest chicken seasoning mix or fried rice seasoning mix, or there's some other good stuff like just regular taco or garlic parm. Some seasoning there with your protein. Uh, if you mix that together with some kind of carb, like instant rice, so just white instant rice, what I do is take a cup of that and put in the Ziploc bag or what you might want to do is use uh, stuffing. Here's some turkey stuffing. Or ramen. Very, very cheap. Package of ramen. Uh, when you're out on the trail or biking or hiking or backpacking, um, don't worry about carbs. You're not going to make a salad and bring it. You can uh, use the ramen noodles. Use the instant potatoes or uh, turkey mix um, or white rice or whatever. And I order off of Amazon, this is a two pound bag of vegetable soup, dried and dehydrated vegetable flakes. And this includes uh, onions, potatoes, peppers, sweet potatoes, carrots, all kinds of stuff you can mix in. Um, or you can even use these. These are about a buck at the grocery store. These are the Nor pesticides or rice sides and all the seasoning, all the carbs and everything come in with that. All you might need to do is put in a little bit of protein, tuna or chicken or what have you. So another option I like is these Bear Creek ready to make soups. So this is a tortilla soup. And then I also have a creamy wild rice soup. These are all fully dehydrated. All you gotta do is take them and put the ingredients in a Ziploc bag, make sure it's a freezer bag. Um, so when you put the ingredients in and you have it dry and in your backpack ready to eat, you'll boil a couple of cups of water and pour it in there to rehydrate. Let that set for five or 10 minutes and um, enjoy it with just a little camp spoon or spork. Um, delicious stuff. So take a look at that. I'm gonna put a couple of these together and we'll be right back with you. I like the ramen and I like a couple of bricks. These things reconstitute very quick. So I'll just break it up a little bit. Put it down in the Ziploc bag. Take the seasoning out. Not a big fan of the seasoning. You could use that or you could use another seasoning if you like. You can keep that in there. This is the beef flavor, or actually this is chicken flavor. So you can keep that in there. It adds a little bit of uh, sodium, uh, a little bit of salt to your diet as well there. So just break that stuff up, take these packets out, add them back later as, as powder. Um, and then what I like to do is I'm gonna make a garlic onion ramen bomb. So this is instant garlic potatoes. I'm just going to open that up and then per bag, I'm going to put about half a container. 
yep, about half a bag of potatoes in there. That'll help thicken it up. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of a packet of onion soup. It gives it all kinds of great flavor. So again, I'm gonna take about a half of a bag, one of these, because these are really pretty concentrated. Yep, about a half of one of those. Um, and put some veggies in here. Again, these are the dehydrated veggies, a couple spoonfuls of that. And then what I'll do is I'll add some chicken. So when I'm ready to prep this meal, I'll just take the chicken out, pour it in there, and then drop the uh, hot, the boiling water in there, a couple cups of boiling water, and it's ready to go. Now, what I usually do is take my Sharpie and I'll write the name of this. So this is a um, onion garlic potato ramen. I'll put something like that on there. And it, it's about two, two and a half cups of water. I'll put that on there as well. And that covers it. That's exactly what you need. Hey, another one of these that I'm going to make would be a kind of the Southwest style skillet. Um, so what I'm going to use is about half a pack of this Southwest chicken season mix, uh, a can of chicken, and um, actually some rice. So the way I'm gonna make this is I'll put in about a cup of instant rice. This stuff cooks in about five minutes, it'll rehydrate. Just put that in there. Um, I'm gonna put about a half a pack of this Southwest chicken seasoning in there. That'll be delicious. Oh yeah, nice and spicy. And then what I'm gonna do is I'll just take this can of chicken and put in there with it. I'm gonna take the label off so it doesn't have a paper label there. And then I'll just set that in there with it. And then um, let's see, a little bit of vegetables. And you know what? I'm actually gonna put some potatoes in there as well. So. I'm gonna put some of the, uh, how about this cheesy potatoes? And that'll help thicken it up a little bit. So this is a four cheese potato from Great Value. I'm gonna put about half a packet of that in there as well. And there you go. Got some potatoes and rice and Southwest spicy seasonings with chicken. Put a couple of cups of water in there as well and that'll reconstitute to delicious. What do you got there, Rye? Oh, well, this is one of my famous freezer bag meals. So if you look at my other videos, um, or if you uh, look back, you'll see where I give some instruction on how to make these. Just use a cheap Walmart freezer Ziploc bag. This one is ramen and chicken, and uh, there's some potato flakes in there, and garlic parm seasoning. So this is a chicken garlic parm ramen bomb. Should be pretty good. <laughs> Ramen bomb. Put a couple of uh, cups of boiling water in it. And let it set for 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, I've got some dehydrated vegetables from a vegetable soup I've got off of uh, Amazon. And uh, a couple of tablespoons of that. Oh, look at that. Mm. Creamy. Not gluten free. Mm -mm. <laughs> how was it? Mm -mm. You know how you get the garlic parm wings? Buffalo Wild Wings or something like no, that? No, I, I mm. don't eat those. <laughs> savory, oh yeah, savory, delicious. <laughs> a little bit garlicky, nice cheesy parmy, delicious. Very, very good, thank you. Awesome.